One of the ways I aim to make my menopause magic and master what's going on is to look for the good because our brain always wants to keep us safe so it will harbour over negatives. I'm sure you've all noticed this ladies. By the way, I'm Ruth, welcome to Menopause Mastery and this is where we thrive and not just survive in menopause, perimenopause and beyond. So I call it looking for the good or counting your wins. And if you think about it, most of the time, we're moaning about what's going wrong in our lives. If you're standing in a post office queue, you know, I was there the other day and there was a lady next to me. She was saying, oh, my back's hurting. My back's been hurting for weeks. I don't know what to do. You know, there was somebody else who was saying, oh, the weather's terrible. It's been raining for days and, you know, it spoils our day. And, you know, we can get bogged down with all this negativity And actually, it stops us living our best life apart from anything. Whereas looking for the good is an opportunity for growth, reward, joy, happiness, all those positive things that we we all really want in our lives. But we've just become this nation of sort of negative, negative talkers, if you like. You know, you hear a lot of conversations when you're out and about and they're all really negative. So first of all, one of the things I do is aim to lift people when I go out. So I'll always try and change the subject and make it positive. And my kids, when they were little, used to moan. They used to say, Mom, you're so positive all the time. And I'm not necessarily, but I switch it round as much as I can. And one of the ways I've done this, and you see this massive book I've got in front of me. This is actually my journal. And I journal in here, in this absolutely huge book, which is just fantastic. It's the best book I've ever had, but I know it's heavy to carry around with me. I sometimes take it to coffee shops with me and it actually sparks conversation, which is great. But I write in this book every single day and I have a system that I use, which I'll talk more of in other videos, but particularly today, I just wanted to talk to you about looking for the good. So if we call it counting your wins, it's a bit like gratitude, but it's actually more in depth than just being grateful for my life or my house or my kids, etc. What we're going to do is at the end of every single day is a good place to start. So often we'll go to sleep and our brain will start perseverating on all the negative things that have happened in the day. Have you ever done that? Why did I say this to so-and-so? Oh my goodness, the weather was terrible. Oh, I've ruined my new boots by walking through whatever. You know, we, we have all this negativity. We replay conversations that we've had with people where we think we said something wrong or they may have been offended. In fact, I was talking to my son Ben about this this morning. It's so easy to go over and over things in your head. And this can really stop you sleeping. And in menopause, we have all on to have a good night's sleep anyway. So the idea behind this, and it's part of the coaching system that I work with, is to count your wins before bed. And then it gives your brain, and your brain is plastic. We can change the way our brain thinks. So if you're doing something every single day in a book like this, or I send messages to clients every night. We actually swap our wins, which is a great way to do it. Or you can verbalize it with your partner or a friend every single day or your kids even. It's a good game to play with your kids. When I used to pick my kids up from school when they were little and say to them, have you had a good day today? And they'd go, no, the teacher said this to me or we had to do this. And, you know, there's a lot of negativity because, like I say, the brain, the brain even is programmed that way. So I used to say to them, tell me what was good today. And then they'd say, oh, well, I had this for lunch or, you know, I played with one of my friends at break. And it's very easy with kids to turn things around. But when we get to be adults, and particularly in midlife, when we may be sandwiched between looking after kids and dealing with elderly parents, having a career to hold down on top of having menopause symptoms, it can be very challenging to look for the good. So what I'm saying here might not come to you naturally, but if you can persevere and do it every single day, you'll get into a really good habit with it. And I would recommend on the first day, you literally look for just a couple of things and you build up from there. And what we're not looking for, ladies, is like massive aha moments that you've had in your day, because you might not have had any. We're looking for all the little tiny wins 
that will add up to having what we call an aha life. That sounds a bit dramatic, but actually, you know, I've been doing this mindset work for over 10 years now, and I find that I can naturally change perspective. Even when there's something going, what we could potentially say wrong, you know, I can find another angle and look for some win or some kind of growth from it. So how about you get yourselves a nice pretty journal. It doesn't have to be as thick as this one. And every single day, every single night, and to be honest, you can do it at all times of the day. You know, if, if you've got a little notebook that you take round with you, you could write things down so that you're not trying to remember them all at the end of the day because it might not come naturally to start with. But by the time you've done this for a month or so, you'll actually be adept at looking for those wins. So it may be things like, you know, I hit all my meals today that I planned to eat, or I didn't dive into the chocolate drawer, or I spoke to a friend and we had a lovely conversation. I went for a dog walk and enjoyed the fresh air. You know, all these little things, they might seem really trivial, but when you add them up, your brain is starting to change and your brain is starting to look at things from a different way. You may have been a negative Nelly all your life. You may have inherited that from your parents because we do things like that. And if you think about it, if you've had a lot of negativity in your life and you're constantly talking about that negativity, imagine a field where you've got a path, say that children walk on to go to school every single day. That path is really well worn because those kids do the same steps over the same path every single day, year after year. That's very similar to the way your brain is, is looking at negatives. If we're saying negatives all the time, it's creating these neural pathways in our brain, which your brain will immediately jump to. So what we want to do is to create a new path. And if you think about creating a new path across the field for the kids to walk on, as the analogy goes, it's going to take time, yeah? They may walk along this new path over a week, and yeah, there's a little dint in, in the grass, but over years, that's going to be a really deep path. And what we're looking for is similar from the brain so that you're creating a new neural pathway that looks for the good, that looks for the positives. So we're not constantly venting about negatives. And actually, what you'll start to notice is that some of your friends are particularly negative or some of your family are particularly negative and you may find yourself naturally, and I do this, switching things around for them and say, well, why don't you look at it this way? Or, you know, maybe you could say this instead or, you know, if you have got a bad back, let's look at what you can do about it so that you're not going to have a bad back indefinitely, but you're actually looking for positives to try and help yourself. I hope this has been really helpful for you today. If you've got any comments or shares or likes, I'd love it if you could share them below. You may be able to help somebody else out. This may be something that you've been doing for some time and you've had a lot of success. Or even if you've got some challenges and you'd like to ask a question below, that would be great. And please subscribe to our channel. I've been Ruth and I just want to say have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.